What's up, YouTube people? It's Jimmy C. Um, back doing a video. It's been a while. They they come few and far between now because you know life happens. I want to start this story. Uh, I keep hearing a uh, love story in my head. The movie from the seventies. Where do I begin? If you guys know that song, I'm dating myself. But uh, anyway, uh, let me kick it off. Uh, so for those of you who know about my calamities with my comic shop, so uh, I haven't heard nothing back from them, but, you know, I'm a premium Visa member, and uh, they gave me my money back, and uh, they said just hold the book, so I'm still uh, sitting shiva holding the book. I'm happy to send it back to them, but who knows, I don't even think they're going to ask for it back, so I'm going to probably send it back into CGC to get re-slabbed so it looks good and then I could uh, sell it properly even though it's not really a 9.8 but whatever anyway uh, I got a story to tell so I, I don't want you guys to just look at a blank screen so I'm just gonna throw up some of the books I get from like uh, Heritage I'm just gonna throw up some books I get you know they send you the books when you bid on stuff enough okay so here's the story I'm on eBay and I see the cover for uh, Peter Pan's of House, issue number two. And I'm like, oh my god, you know, I got issue number one. The guy's asking, it's a bid, uh, uh, five ninety nine plus twenty dollars shipping. It's his, it's his dealer. I know, I know who the guy is. Like he's an established art dealer. So I wrote him on a lark. I figured he'd say no, thank you. But I'm like, hey, Peter Pan's of House number two. You got it for five ninety five ninety nine bid. Uh, if you're interested, I'll give you 500 right now, PayPal Direct. You know, you get creative when you write, because eBay, like, tries to flag shit. So, lo and behold, the guy writes me back in, like, 10 seconds. Sounds good deal. I'm like, I'm like, oh my god, this is too good to be true. Like, not like I'm getting over on him, but, like, usually they're like, no, I want the auction to run out, a beep, a boop, see what happens. I'm like, alright. And I paid him instantly. And uh, a day goes by, two days, two days go by, and I'm like, bro, take the piece off of eBay, you know, I paid you already, uh, what's going on? He's like, oh yeah, I'm sorry, he finally wrote me back, I'm sorry, I took it off, and I look, and it's still, it's still on there, and, uh, you know, I'm peeling the onion, I'm like, what's going on here, like, the guy said he took it off, He's, he writes back pretty fast, and I'm like, bro, look. I want Peter Pan's of House cover number two. This is what I wrote you about. Ba 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 ba. And he writes back to me, Oh, I'm so sorry. I thought you wanted the cover to the trade paperback number two. Somebody else wrote about it and I just thought it was you. Like he's like, um, no way, I would never uh close a, a bid early, uh, an auction early. So uh ba 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 he's like, Well and I already sent it to you. And he was mad at me because he sent me the fucking cover to the trade paperback. Meanwhile, I never asked about that. And if you confuse me with someone else, we got two completely different emails. So, like, the funny part was he was, like, mad at me about this. That's what was fucking hilarious. So I knew this guy didn't care that he screwed up with me. And he was not going to, like, I gleamed this pretty fast. So I said, you know what? I'm going to make sure I win this fucking auction no matter what because... This should be my cover. Hey, you know what? Maybe you guys disagree with me, but whatever. So anyway, long story short, the the cover I wanted was still up for grabs on eBay. And I knew this guy wasn't going to do the right thing or even come close to it. So with like three seconds left, I put in a bid for like 5000 the, the The thing he had it for was five ninety nine. dollars it was, And it's Peter Panzer House. Nobody gives a shit. So anyway, long story short, I won it for six thirty five. One guy bid five ninety nine, which was the starting bid, and he bid up to five twenty five. So I won it for uh I'm sorry, he bid up to five ninety he bid up to five nine uh six twenty five, so I won it for six thirty five. So I wrote to the guy, Hey, uh you know, can you send me the right one now? I actually won it, so do the right thing. And he was furious. Because I fucking hedged my bet and protected the fucking book. And uh, he's like, no, if you want it, you gotta pay me uh, 635 I said, no. I said, you fucked up. You gotta give me the book for the right price. He's like, no. He goes, okay, fine. So 
you got to give it to me for six thirty five less eBay fees. So you got to give it to me. You got to pay me five seventy. I'm like, well, nobody. You fucked up. You you had them both for uh, five ninety nine, even though it was the wrong one you gave me. One guy bid five ninety nine. So after sh- shipping and fees and everything, beep a boop, he would you would have clean you would have cleared five forty. So I already gave you five hundred for the first one that you fucked up on. So I'll, you know what? I'll be a good guy and I'll give you an extra forty dollars. And let's call it a day. And he just wouldn't do it. And I was going back and forth. I said, you know what? He only wanted. Long story short, he only wanted uh, five seventy five for it. So I just gave him an extra fucking eighty bucks to call it a day, even though he was in the wrong and he's fucked up. And I will never do business with this guy again. It's ComicConArt.com. So maybe he sees this one day or hears it. I don't give a shit. But I sent back the wrong copy that he sent me. One, two, three. I didn't give him a story. Like, obviously, you know, he do the right thing. But, you know, he squeezed me for an extra few dollars. And he's fucked up. And, you know, uh, I'm sorry. I forgot to keep showing. I had, Look, I had a ton of, like, of these books to show. But I got so in... I'm trying to tell the story fast and to the point, so like I get con- I concentrate. Anyway, here's the copy of uh, Peter Pan's Faust cover number two. You know, I got issue number one and I wanted it, so I'm like, fuck that. Like, you know, let me just fucking give this bastard an extra eighty dollars. He squeezed me. He fucked up. So like, at the bottom line, if I ever screwed up and it was it with like within fifty dollars of something. It's the onus is on the seller to do the right thing, and he just didn't give a shit that he screwed up with me, and I had to eat it. So you know what? I'm venting on here. I didn't blast him on the boards or nothing, cause like I don't wanna. But anyway, the sad part is I was so happy to get it. I went on eBay. I I, I scored a copy of the book. I got it for nine dollars. I couldn't believe it. It's near mint. They shipped it like shit, even though I wrote this person. I tell you, I just got no luck. I know this person... You know somebody's not a comic book seller when they only sell a couple of comic books and then the other hundred items listed are like shoes and clothes. I wrote them. I said, hey, please send this the right way. This is how you ship it. Pardon me if you know already. But but they didn't listen to me and they sent it like a a fucking banana head. Thank God it came anyway. You know, uh, it had a a ding in it, but like it's still a near mint, near mint minus and uh, whatever. So I got the copy of the book. I'm happy. I'm dealing with bananas. And like, I was so excited to get it. I even bought the the five-part volume of the look. And I even wrote the guy. I'm like, bro, I was so happy to get this. Like, I just went out and I bought the whole set. I'm going to read it. I'm all into it. He didn't give a shit. Yeah, I want my 575. I don't care. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, fuck you, Joe Boo. But uh, I'm done with my Panzerfaust. You know what? I own issue one and two. And uh, let's move on to bigger and better things. What else do I got to show? So uh, my man, JN Guy, you guys know him. Uh, I got him hooked on the artwork a while ago, and he's just been like a, a, a nut job unleashed buying comic book artwork. And he's got like some monster pieces. He's he's uh his stuff just dwarfs people. He uh he sent me some a random act of kindness. He sent me uh the Spec Spidey um magazine. It's low grade, but it's awesome because I get to read and thumb through it, and I have no fear, and I can have fun. And he sent me this issue, and it's funny because I don't have it. Oh God, I would kill for the artwork for this, but I know Kevin Coley only draws in pencils, so I know it's not inked up wherever it is out there. But thank you, John. I'm sure most of you follow him already. Let me put that over there. And uh, last but not least, I picked this up. For those of you who know, I'm a Cursed Pirate Girl fan. This is, uh, this is a book near Mint. I bought it off eBay. The guy was on eBay. And uh, I was sitting there for a little bit, and I wrote him twice. And it turns out he lives one town over from me. So he came to my house and uh, brought it to me. I got it for like 50 bucks. <clears throat> it's funny, because I, I bought it for 50 plus $7 shipping. And then uh, I paid him off off eBay. 
And he's like, hey, you know, I'm going to come bring it to you. I live right down the block from you. I'm like, okay. So he brought it to me. He just picked up his kids from school. And you know me being a cheap bastard. I, I want to say, you know what? You're bringing it to me. You can give me my $7 back, but you can't say nothing. You know, you got to just fucking eat it because he's hand delivering it to you. But then uh, he saw my French Bulldogs and his kids wanted to pet them. And we started talking and it was all great. Like, uh, I met a new comic book buddy. He lives one town over. But uh, Laura Viewer, this is the um, this is the first pirate cursed pirate girl story. This was like uh, they tested the waters before they made the cursed pirate girl. So like this is a pretty cool book to have. There's one other book I need to get. I forget what it's called, but it's like got three bands across it. <coughs> but um, that's about it. Uh, you know what I want to show you guys? I'm going on ten minutes already. So I just got this frame. So like we're gonna do a little. If you're on you're on Instagram and eBay. Instagram and uh, Facebook rather sorry it's dark but uh, I just got my things uh, framed it's looking beautiful I threw the Joker up over there so you know I mean this is my room the basement I go into most of it but 30% uh, of it got confiscated by management so look Thomas the train took over little Whoville so uh, and I just threw these up by the fr by the TV we got my Panzerfaust one we were talking about. And I got the Overstreet Guide. I'm getting rid of those wires. I'm going to drill holes in the wall. And they make me crazy just seeing them because everything is so perfect. But uh, that's it. Jimmy C signing off. If you want to see. There's where I was filming. There's the goblin wall. Oh, wait. Alas. I just threw up two goblin pages. So now the goblin wall is complete. And that's about it. Over and out, 12 minutes.